It's your boy girl up here back with another video and today I got some other video guys man today we're going to be Zenkai buffing the innocent monster Majin Buu good now um yeah you know what I'm saying it's with cry well not with cry huh? but with the new Zenkai Piccolo Zenkai buffing region units I kind of want to then kind of buff some of the good region units on here and definitely the one that we gotta revisit is Bat Boo. Uh when you probably got his Zenkai this dude was an absolute beast. You couldn't do absolutely no damage to him. Um, he was one of those Zenkai's that costed like around 20k CC to Zenkai 7 at first. Um, this guy was literally the best counter to VB. So if you invested 20,000 for him and you was playing in the VB meta, this guy was this guy just shut down VB. You know, one of the biggest things about him is he lost down strike cards, Kefla, VB, all they did was use strike cards. So you can just literally just pull up with Fat Boo and then shut him down, lock him in. You have three times to lock VB in and then you can rise and rush him, right? So yeah, that's basically Fat Boo. He does some good strike damage as well. So I kind of rock him on a strike base region team. So we have like yellow DKP, we have CMZ, we have Perfect Cell. And then at the bottom, we have purple 21 for the health. And then green Piccolo, because I got a Zenkai buff him twice. And then for his equips, I kind of focus on like a strike base type of thing where he can like, he has health, but then he can also do some good strike damage because we're on a strike base team, he's then kind of buffed two times. So, without further ado, let's get on with the matches. So, first match facing green, green, yellow, bro. I haven't seen this team in a minute, bro. This team was going crazy when Kyle can first drop, but now you don't really see this team as much. So, um, the fact that this guy is still rocking him, still, you know, that salute to him because people don't really rock Kyle King Goku like that because there's so many strong reds so yeah he goes to the Vegeta first so I have to go to Boo like I said with Fat Boo you just lock in you just lock in his strike cards you really can't do much so that's why he's buying time and here I pop the green card so sidestep out of there we're able to get the combo going you know also Fat Boo does do extra sh damage to Sans so we're seeing a lot of Sans in this meta you have CMZ that does extra damage to Sans you have Cell that does extra damage to Sans so all three of these units has like does extra damage to Sans, which is pretty impressive. So I pop the strike card here. Look at damage that Cell is doing. So I go to CMZ to pop the blue card, just because I had a feeling he was gonna go to Kyle Ken. So the blue card didn't do as much damage like I thought it was, but it's okay. So I kind of made CMZ more on the offensive side of things than having health. So that's why he's like kind of um like <laughs> taking a lot of damage from Kyle Ken. But Kyle Ken is also chaining like 20 cards in one combo so it's only a matter of time that someone is not going to really be able to take that much but cmz can heal every time we land a card so i'm not really too worried about him so size up there i go to the cell because he only doesn't have yellow goku uh anytime soon so i attack immediately here and then i size up he's back with kyle ken so then i go to fat boo to heal to see if i can catch him in the size up but I catch him there i'm able to lock him in so then i go to cmz and immediately rush him which is one thing about boo is locking people in so we're able to catch that combo heal up our allies get that damn to flip the buffs and then take out his best unit which is kyle ken so you know one thing about cmz is when he kills somebody you know he gets his banish because when he fights new people and he destroys their whole car so right here i pop the main ability uh, i know vados has cards up speed but i played aggressive there and then i sized up out of there pop the strike card and then I popped the old card, which I probably should have popped the old card first. So she, so that opponent would not have switched to Vegeta and tanked his damage. But it's okay though. You know, it did some, look at that. Look, that's a lot of old damage right there. CMZ, you know what I'm saying? He can nuke with that. So I have the green card here. He tapped me out once again, which he, you know, makes sense. Because every time I saw him with CMZ, I always popped the green. So he's kind of knowing like my patterns and stuff. But I'm cool in here. He catches me the side stuff, but... Yeah, Vegeta's not gonna do no damage really to the cell. Um, I can, I still have my main ability to heal up, and I still have my gauge. So I go to the Fat Boo here just to lock in his strikes to see does he have any more strike cards. So I'm here, I'm forced him to literally pop his old card against Fat Boo, and I'm perfectly fine with that, bro. Like Fat Boo, you know, tank pretty well, but like every time Fat Boo takes damage, he does heal a percent of that. So that's why we're able to heal that much. Which is pretty solid, bro. Pretty solid. So now we're just trying to just get a good combo in. So bottles will just keep healing. That's pretty much like my thing is just getting one last. I just need one good combo and then the game is basically over. So 
Side step there, I reacted too late. He goes to the Vegeta. And right now, I'm just thinking, like, does this guy have another rush brewed up? Because he's chaining a lot of cards together. And he could definitely brew up in second rush. You know, like, this is legends for you, right? So, I go to CMZ, thought he had a strike card. And I'm just trying to get a combo going. Like, if I get one combo going, one of these units are dead. So, task me there. Chilling here. Pop a blast card, finally got him, and then I go to cell right here. And I'm just charging so I can instantly just kill this bottle so I can get through this 3v1 and finally finish this match. So he tackles me here. I go to Fat Boo, pop the strike card, he backs up, side stuff, he catches me there. And like this good is playing, he's just, he's just trying to survive, bro. He's literally just trying to survive with Vegeta, but he's definitely trying his best. So I'm just playing aggressive here. I'm just playing aggressive. CMZ dies. We get death buffs to the team. Go with the blast card. I locked in his blast cards anyways. Then I go to sell. Try to get the LF. I think he actually lets me get the LF. No, he actually forfeits. But you feel me? Uh, yeah, so Bad Boo did pretty good. You definitely can tell that he's delaying like some of his, his combos because we're just locking in his strike cards. And then we locked in his best unit to get CMZ to kill. So... Fat Boo still has some good utility and then healing the team and giving damage buff is nice. So next match here facing movies. Uh he starts off with Tapion, so I'm just having purple cells. So whenever he goes in with Dragon Fist Goku, I can kind of wall him off. But I actually go with Fat Boo just so I can lock in his strike cards. But I know I wasted his lock in. I know I wasted one of his lock ins to do that. And it didn't really turn out well because he's still chaining these cards together. So that was a terrible waste of a of a lock-in right so i hear i go to cmz and i combo drop kind of feeling that he was gonna go to see uh he was gonna go to tapion to tank because tight disadvantage for me so chilling here just trying to get our dragon balls as quickly as possible we have what three more left so chilling here just trying to pop the strike card like i said using clicking out all the cards as possible and he does get this damage off unfortunately so he pops the blue size up and i pop the green card so he tapped me once again unfortunately which sucks so I have to switch out. If I go to Boo, type this advantage, this wouldn't make sense. So just trying to figure it out. Like I said, I'm just trying to fill him out, trying to get this next combo. Um, I think he actually catched me with that blue card. That does a lot. That was a lot of damage right there. Not gonna lie to you. That was a lot of blue card damage with Tapion. So I tackle him here because I know I sealed his strike card for a little bit and I'm able to sidestep there. And I just need to land this blue card so I can get my rush. So he actually switches to Gogeta. I pop the blue card here. And I think I actually land this strike card before I pop the rush. So whoever he uh he drops in, I don't really mind it. So he actually goes to Tapion. And if we do kill Tapion, like he does have that whole little death damage. But we do also destroy his cards as well. So he's gonna give us minus card draw speed. He's gonna enter the field with no cards as well. So I'm perfectly fine with that. I probably should just instantly just pop the rush with the with cmz because he locks you in for three like for three timer counts which i should, probably should have did that that probably would have been the best thing to do but i personally don't care you know what I'm saying? i personally don't care so i pop the main here and i pop the old card because i see him with tackle cmz with his old card bro i don't i think it does a good amount of damage bro good amount yeah decent amount right there i wish i had cmz at like 14 stars i probably would have one shot it but it's all good so i pop the main and he taps me there, was perfectly fine just to heal on my allies. I'm not really worried. And I just tackle because he has his strike cards locked in. He can't do much. He's going to stay there. So I'm just like, all right, let me tackle again. And I caught him there. Got a feeling if I went with a full range, like a mid range strike, he was going to rise and rush me. So I just made sure, let me just go with a tackle again. He probably was not expecting it because he can't counter it, right? So Sal's going crazy. I'm just trying to get his gauge up, which I do right here. And then I think I just popped the main. So just in case he goes to the Dragon Fist in time for some reason, he doesn't strike cover change me. And let me just get the guaranteed kill on uh, the free to play Gogeta right there. So yeah, looking nice, looking nice, pretty, you know, sell. I mean, Fat Boo's looking pretty decent, pretty decent. So he rushes CMZ. And right here, I'm thinking like, all right, you know, if CMZ dies, we get the death bus. But this guy is still dangerous. This, uh, this Goku is still dangerous because if he's able to like, you know, perfect banish Fat Boo and get like a combo off and kills him and then like pop his main and take away my banish from perfect cell. He can go type neutral off that and he can kill and win us. But we did catch with the blast card there and was able to get the dub. But he could have still made some clutch plays and win that game still. Despite him being 3v1, 
Like, he could have still won that match, not going to lie to you. But, you know what I'm saying? Fat Boo held it down. The strike base region held it down. So, we looking solid, right? This is our third match right here facing up against, like, a like a Goku team, in a sense. Kind of like, he's rocking like a Goku team. So, uh, he rocking the blue, Super Saiyan blue Goku, which is interesting. Like, you just don't really see that unit in this meta, which is, you know, interesting that you see it still. Like, people still rock them. So, Chilling here, right? CMZ taking a lot of damage. A lot of damage. I can't go to Fat Boo, type disadvantage. And like I said, if we just land a combo with CMZ, we can heal this back up. So I'm not too worried. I'm not too worried. So a tackle here, he's able to counter me. But that was terrible. I should have just swapped out and went to perfect form cell. But I tried it. Did not turn out well, so I have to go to cell. Just to destroy a Dragon Ball and destroy a car so I can limit his uh his combo as much as possible. But we do get this combo. So I have to stay in with Cell because if I go to Fat Boo, I could lock him in. But I just feel like Fat Boo has no strike cards. Um, we don't have our Dragon Balls closed. So there's really no point of me trying to lock him in with MUI Goku. And I can't really find a way to kill him. So I have to enter in right here. Chilling here. Can't really move that much because the game is kind of lagging a little bit. Which is weird. Like as soon as I try to play aggressive, like he's just mad laggy and everything but unfortunate so he pops the main i kind of have to stay in with fat boo he know if i cover change so if i'm able to switch from fat boo i have to go to perfect cell because cmz but he does pop the rush there i have to let cmz go he's the lowest health and then cmz actually gives us death buffs now if he kills cmz i can play aggressive and lock him in because remember boo locks you in three times he locks you in for three times so right here he doesn't have a strike card. All I can do is tackle. So I tackle here, pop that strike card, and then I have another strike card right here. And then I think I actually go to sell and pop the blue card. And I think we actually just kill MUI right here. And then we can use our rush for somebody else. So like I said, Boo coming in clutch by taking out the best unit of his team just by locking them in. And then we can just have someone that's more offensive, like Cell, for example, to clean up the rest. So yeah, we're just chilling here. Now we just got to just land a combo. Right, he has a Super Saiyan Blue Goku that can ramp up. And then this Purple Goku is pretty dangerous because when his main ability, depending on how many blast cards he has, he gets blue cards. So I just went with a full range strike. Got a feeling that he was waiting there. He probably doesn't think I know about his kit, which makes sense because I'm rocking regen. So just chilling here, trying to see how much damage I can do. I probably should have charged up in between and just get more cards. But I was like, you know what, let me just rush and let me just get this three i mean the 2v1 situation going and finish this match so we don't get guessed there we're able to kill the goku and now we got to deal with this last goku this goku when you pop his main he can get his vantage back so i can't just play too aggressive because he can he has another way of getting advantage so i sized up there game gets mad laggy right fat boo doing some solid damage then i pop the main ability just to heal up our team give us extra damage buffs take away the debuffs and I'm just trying to get my vantage back for Fabu. So right here, I pop the green card. I see him tackling, so I force him to vanish here. But he doesn't pop his main. I was surprised, right? I don't think he pops his main after this uh after this combo. Because I don't remember, I don't believe he pops his main throughout the game. So yeah. He just forfeited right there. I guess he just knew the game was over. Like <laughs> Fat Boo was taking absolutely no damage from that Goku. And I definitely think we should get a new Fat Boo card. Not gonna lie to you. Like I feel like this card has been out since the game started, right? Like since the first year of the game started. We don't have a new Sparking Fat Boo ever since. Like not even a free to play, like maybe even an LF or Revival Fat Boo. Like he literally blew up from Vegeta's explosion and then absorbed himself back together and he was perfectly fine. So I definitely think Reason needs some buffs and I, def I you know, give us a new Fat Boo. Give us a Buhan, bro. Give us a Janema, bro. You feel me? So, you know, Especially Fat Boo, bro. Like, we just never got a new version of him, like, in terms of Sparkins, bro. Like, he's been in the game since the first year, and we never got a new Boo card at all, like, Fat Boo. So, I'm chilling here with DKP, bro. The reason why I brought DKP because I had a feeling he had a lot of purple. He had, like, two purples on his team. So, I was like, let me just bring in DKP because if I bring in CMZ, CMZ is just going to get absolutely murked by Vegito Blue. Like, it's not even a question. VB does extra damage to Fusion Warriors. And then Phoebe and then CMZ the red and then he's squishy. So it would have been it would have been terrible. That would have been terrible right there. So yeah. Kyle can go through the person I need to kill. For sure. Like I'm not 
I'm not really too frightened that Boo took a lot of damage. He is definitely aging as a Zenkai, like these new units. This does too much damage, so, uh, like, he, he just not, he's not able to compete like he once was, like that once dominant region foe like he once was, but uh, he can do his thing. The Zenkai buffs, I can definitely tell, it kind of helps him in terms of defense and his strike attack, which you put him on a strike-based team, he can do some decent strike attack, especially since we're facing a lot of Saiyans. He does deal extra damage to Saiyans as well, so it's actually not bad. He's actually pretty solid. Would I put him as my main green region? I think it just depends on what team you're trying to build him on. Like, if you're trying to build him on a strike base, I think he is the best strike base green regen unit out of them all. Now, in terms of who's the most valuable, I believe it's Cryhon. He has revival. Um, just having revival just is the reason why I feel like he's the best green region in the in the um, in the game right now because of that revival ability. Like Green Piccolo is solid, but you know Cryhon has a better Z ability, and then he has revival, and that helps a ton. So catch him there with the PV. We kill out Kyle and Goku. So now. All we have to do is just catch this another combo and then the game is basically sealed. So I think I actually lose this right here. Yeah, I actually lose this. So Goku Vegeta is still doing his thing. If he does rush, I will get rid of DKP because he can just go to the Vegeta side and be type advantage. I know we have Fat Boo as well, but I just don't want to deal with that whole switch in, switch out. And I'd rather just have Cell that does extra damage to Saiyans and he's just a straight up just the best unit on this team. So don't want Cell to die right after DKP to die. Even though we didn't pop our main to get the Dragon Balls, it's all good. So, yeah, he kills. I think he actually killed. No, he doesn't kill DKP, does he? Yeah, he does. Yeah, barely. It's crazy. Tight, tight disadvantage, bro. And he still dies. So, I catch him in the side stuff with VB. I go to Fat Boo. Fat Boo blast damage is just non existent, but his strike damage is okay. See, if I was with Cell, I could have killed DB with Cell, but like I said, I just want to showcase Fat Boo what he can do. So I have to rush, pop the blue card, hopefully he doesn't guess me, and then we can just clean up with Goku Vegeta. Because Goku Vegeta's offense is pretty dangerous still, but their defense is like sucks if they're not on mono purple. So I think I have the main ability with Fat Boo so I can heal up my team. No, no, I do not. So I gotta make sure that I get this combo. He catches me there. Um, like I said, Fat Boo's defense isn't really the best like it once was. And it's really because like, you know, it's not really a defensive meta. Like, he was able to tank that blue card, which was surprisingly that he did that. But that just kind of, that's just, that's kind of a shame on uh, Goku Vegeta, not gonna lie, that he couldn't kill. But yeah, right here, I think we get the LF off. Fat dude, Fat Boo did do pretty solid. He did pretty solid. It's just, he's just not like what he once was. Region needs some more help, but it was definitely dope just to showcase Fat Boo once again. You know, he has some. Healing, locks you in, steals the strike cards, does extra damage to Sands. Pretty solid. Double Zenkai buff. Please give him a new card. Buff Regen, bro. Let Regen be in, a, in in one of the top teams in the meta, bro. For real. Because we need it. We need it, bro. We need some new units. Last unit we had was in November of last year. So, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think about Fat Boo, Double Zenkai buff. And on this, like, strike-based Regen team. And, yeah. So, yeah, bro. Make sure you guys like them and subscribe bro roll to 10k and everything so yeah i appreciate you guys for watching like comment subscribe and we're growing man and i'm out <sighs>